Hey, welcome back friends. If you want to join the friends, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Today, I'm going to be going over how to train up your cooking levels. Uh, when I first started doing this, I figured it was going to be super easy. You just train up by cooking some fish and that's about it. Uh, but the more I got into it, the more I realized there's a lot of little things that you can do to optimize your training, uh, including the sous chef outfit that I have on right now. So make sure you check out this guide to see all those little optimizations that add up to some serious XP gains. I want to start off with some useful boosts. Uh, first one's going to be Dwarven Army Axe. This gives you plus 3 XP for every single different fish that you cook. Uh, if you are cooking at the lower levels, something like shrimp, that's only 30 XP per cook. So this actually gives you a 10% increase to the amount of XP you get. Uh, but even at the higher levels, plus 3 XP is very good, so always use this. On top of that, another thing you should always be using is going to be the portable ranges. They do give you a 21% increase to the amount of XP you're getting. This is an absolutely insane amount, so definitely start using those. Uh, there's really no cost to using them as long as you're using somebody else's. And on top of that, they also give you a chance of doubling your fish, so very nice there. Again, another thing that you should be using at all points in time is going to be cooking urns. You just want to use the best cooking urn that you can with the crafting level that you're at. Uh, you do have to kind of keep up with your cooking levels with your crafting so that you can continuously use these even with the higher level fish. So keep that in mind. Uh, you, it may be worth actually training up your crafting a little bit more because 20% experience is very good. If you do have a urn enhancer that does increase the amount that the urns give you up to 25% XP. So very nice there. Two things that are going to be useful, but you have to kind of get yourself, are going to be cooking gauntlets. Uh, they are going to be from the family Crest Quest. Uh, this is going to be wanting to be done as soon as possible. It just decreases the amount of burning that you're going to be doing, which is going to give you some bonus experience because you're going to obviously not burn things that you would otherwise burn. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell the exact percentage, but it's very nice. And on top of that, the sous chef outfit is going to be very nice as well. Give you plus 6% increase to your XP. As well as, again, doubling the fish that you're going to be cooking 5% uh, of the times. This does stack with the portable ranges. That means that you get up to 10% extra fish if you're using a portable range as well as a sous chef outfit. It only takes about an hour to get. Uh, I do have a guide on that, so check the links down below if you are interested in getting the sous chef outfit. Uh, you just go do the gnome restaurant mini game. And off to the right are going to be three bonus experiences that are going to be sometimes useful, not always though. Uh, top right is going to be bonus XP weekend or any bonus experience. I would not recommend using any prismatics on this because cooking is a relatively cheap and fast skill to train. But if you are looking for something to train during bonus experience weekend and you don't want to spend too much money but you have a little bit of money saved up, uh, probably something nice to do during bonus experience weekend, very fast XP. Refer a friend, it's going to be 10% increase to your XP. This is going to be used majoritively for people that are really hardcore training in RuneScape because you do have to pay two bonds in order to get, I think it's one week worth of 10% XP increase. So it is relatively expensive, but if you could be training a lot for an entire week, it may be worth making another account and referring a friend. Uh, obviously, the intended method is going to be to actually get a real friend to get membership for a month, but you can just do it with an alt account if you'd like. And last but not least, is going to be a clan avatar. If you are in a clan, this is going to be extremely useful, up to 6% increase to your XP. Uh, if you include all this together, it's like 70% increase to your XP, so very insane amount that you can be making here. Uh, definitely worth using as many of these bonuses as possible. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is during this guide, I will be including the amount that it actually takes to cook. Uh, so if you have to cook a certain number of a fish, you can basically reduce it by about 40% if you're going to be using all these boosts. Very nice. Another thing that's not strictly actually training up cooking in a traditional manner, but is going to be a decent way of actually gaining some cooking experience, is going to be doing quests. Uh, now there's three quests that I'm going to mention just because they're at relatively low levels where you can get a lot of XP really quickly. Uh, first one's going to be Gertrude's Cat. Uh, this only gives you about 1500 XP in cooking, but it is useful for a lot of other quests later on down the line, so it's definitely worth doing that when you have the levels to actually do that quest. The second one is going to require 22 cooking and is going to be Forgettable Tale of a Drunken Dwarf. Uh, this does only give you 5,000 XP and does have two quest prerequisites, so entirely up to you. If you plan on doing a lot of quests in the future, going for a comp cape far into the future, it's definitely going to be worth doing this at level 22. 
but it does have a lot of quest prerequisites and cooking is a relatively fast skill so it may not actually be the fastest way of training up your cooking but if you want to train your account efficiently uh definitely worth doing that and last but not least is going to be this big one right here uh evil dave's big day out uh, if you check out the rewards you get twenty thousand cooking xp and the only requirement is 30 cooking that literally jumps you like 10 levels in cooking uh, it's also going to be jumping over a large portion of slightly more gp per xp than you usually would have to pay uh, so it is going to be probably the best timing to get this 20,000 cooking experience. So if you have the other requirements, 30 agility, 30 herb lore, and 30 magic, uh, definitely worth doing that. It also gives you 20,000 herb lore and agility XP. So I would say this is a must-do on accounts as soon as you get these low levels. Uh, not hard to get all these levels and definitely worth doing. One last thing to mention before we actually go over all the different items that you're going to be doing per level uh, it's going to be 3 tick versus just regular AFK cooking. Uh, now, if you guys don't already know, regular cooking is just you click on something uh, and then you just click cook and you will just slowly cook it. Uh, it takes about 4 game ticks per time that you actually cook, but it's relatively fast, but not the fastest method of cooking. If you want to get the fastest method of cooking, what you're going to have to do is actually be a little bit attentive. Uh, you're going to want to cook on a portable range. Uh, go ahead and click cook. As soon as you see the XP drop, you want to click it again. Uh, this is going to actually save you one tick for every single time that you do this. Uh, depending on how laggy the world is, this may or may not actually be a decent option. If you have a decent amount of lag, you might actually lose time by doing this. But if you have a relatively unlaggy world, this is going to save you approximately 25-30% to 30 of the time that you would be spending using AFK cooking training. Uh, so definitely worth mentioning. It is up to you. I know a lot of people are going to enjoy the AFK of cooking, but if you want an extra 25% XP, uh, 3 ticking is possible, assuming that hasn't been patched out by the time that you see this guide. From level 1 to level 30, uh, I did already mention that you should probably be doing quests, but if you choose not to do quests or all the extra experience that you're going to need on top of the quests, uh, I would recommend just training up your fishing and doing cooking at the same time. Cooking in general does give you about double to triple the amount of experience that fishing does. So just as you're fishing, uh, bring a log or most of the fishing locations actually have a tree somewhere around that you can just chop and make a fire. Uh, it's extremely quick way of disposing of fish that you're not going to be using instead of just jump dumping them on the ground. You might as well just cook them up and then dump the ones that are... Uh, already cooked. Uh, very easy experience. Uh, it's not going to take you more than like an hour, maybe two hours if you're a little bit slow at it. But just train up your fishing and cooking at the same time, honestly. From level 30 to level 45, you can cook up sweet corn. Uh, this is going to be the best option at these levels because it gives you an insane 104 XP every single time you cook it. Uh, it does cost you about 1 GP per XP. Uh, if you do want to skip over the majority of these levels, you can just do Evil Dave's Big Day Out quest. Uh, it skips over all the way to level 40 or so, which will skip a majority of this section and get you to a little bit cheaper cooking training. From level 45 to level 60, we're going to be cooking tunas. Uh, they do actually give you a little bit less experience than sweet corns at only 100 XP every single time that you cook one, but it comes at a insane decrease in the cost uh, it's only 0.1 GP per XP so very nice there uh, one thing I do want to mention is this is the point in time that you're gonna want to look into getting the sous chef outfit as well as the cooking gauntlets uh, at these levels is approximately where you're gonna want to have enough for the quest to do it or uh, you're gonna have high enough cooking level to actually do the gnome restaurant uh, mini game so you can get the sous chef outfit this is going to be extremely useful if you are going all the way up to level 99 cooking or if you just are trying to get a little bit of extra experience it's only going to take you about an hour to get the sous chef so i would highly recommend doing that and then whenever you can do the family crest quest from level 60 to 75 we're going to be doing a really cheap new method as of menaphos to train up your cooking uh it's going to be desert souls these are only going to cost you a less than 0.1 GP per XP. Uh, they are extremely cheap. I think it's like 5 GP to actually cook one of these. 
So very cheap method, uh, and it's going to give you an insane 142.5 XP every single time you actually cook one up. So this is definitely going to be the best method all the way up to 75. If you are a little bit stringent on cash, it may be actually the best method all the way up to level 90. Uh, depending on how far you want to go, it's about 6,500 or 35,000 desert souls that you're going to need to cook up. If you do have a couple mils saved up, I would recommend using uh, Beltfish from level 75 to level 90. It does give you an increase in the XP all the way up to 165 XP, but you do increase the loss to about 200 GP per item, so it makes it so that's about 1 GP per XP. A uh, pretty big increase in the cost over Desert Souls, but it does reduce the amount that you're going to actually have to cook uh, all the way down to about 25,000, so it saves you about five to 6,000 cooking attempts. Uh, it's going to save you maybe three hours. Uh, definitely worth it in my opinion if you can make a decent amount of money though. From level 90 to level 94 we're going to be cooking sharks. Uh, you are going to have to cook about 12,000 sharks. And they do cost about 0.6 GP per XP. Uh, but this can be greatly reduced by using cooking gauntlets as well as the sous chef outfit. Because sharks are actually worth a decent amount of money, whenever you do multiply the shark by 2, uh, the 5% increase from the portable range as well as the 5% increase from the sous chef outfit, it is actually going to start stacking up a decent amount of money. So you're definitely going to want to make sure you have cooking gauntlets, sous chef outfit, as well as being using portable ranges at these levels. Uh, basically everything from this point on, if you're not using them, you are just straight up wrong. Make sure you get these before getting to these levels. From level 94 to level 99, you are going to be doing Rock Tails. Uh, this is going to be a 0.3 GP per XP cost. Uh, with the sous chef outfit and the portable range, this is actually going to be slight profit though. So you are going to be basically having free XP from this point on. Uh, it does You do have to make about 22,500 Rock Tails to actually get up to level 99. But seeing as how it's free, it's just AFKing for a couple hours, and you will get a 99 cape. With the recent addition of deep sea fishing into the game, uh, there is a new method of training past 99. Rocktails is no longer the best method of training past 99. You can now cook sailfish. They do give you a little bit of extra GP as well as XP because they do have a little bit higher cost. Uh, which means more profit for you. Obviously, there is no amount that you need to be cooking because go as far as you like. If you want to get up to level 120, cost you uh, gonna take you a little while, but you'll get there. I do have a guide on it that you can get up to like 800,000 XP per hour. So definitely really quick, and with the sous chef outfit as well as the portable ranges, you're gonna be making even a little bit of profit while training if you're cooking. Last thing that I do want to mention is going to be making tuna potatoes. Uh, this is not going to be the best way of actually training up your cooking skill, but it does give you a decent amount of cooking experience, so I figured it was worth mentioning. I think it's about three or four steps to make these, and you do get about 220, 230 experience uh, with a level 67 requirement. This is obviously not going to be the best way of training up at this level, but it does make you a decent amount of money. I do have a guide on it. It's about 2 million GP per hour. So if you are running low on money and you need some money to train up your cooking skill, this may be a decent option because you are going to be getting some cooking experience as well as making money at the same time. Again, uh, it may be worth just making money in another method and then using all that money, the money that you can make a little bit quicker to actually train up your cooking skill. But if you are strapped for cash and you can't really come up with anything else, go ahead and make some tuna potatoes. Hopefully this helped you guys all in your training goals for cooking. Uh, I remember this being my first level 99 cape, so uh, if you're going for your first level 99, this is an extremely good one. Uh, it does make you a little bit of profit at the higher levels, as well as being extremely fast. Uh, so definitely a decent one to go for your first level 99, uh, and it gets you a little bit of taste into hopefully getting your max cape at some point in the future. If you do enjoy this guide, go ahead and leave a comment down below so I can know if you guys are planning on going for your first 99 cape or if you're just wanting to train up a little bit more for your total levels. Uh, also, leave a like down below so that other people can see this guide as well. And make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can see all my future guides, content, as well as just any other little fun thing that I find in the game. As always, though, have a good one.